Welcome to this BASI Systems tutorial. Today I'd like to present to you the BASI Systems pedipole. This is a piece of equipment that is not used very much. I find it so valuable. I'm going to go over some of the general features, features that you may not see immediately but are so important. The first thing is the adjustability. So this is a pedipole that very easily adjusts. So you can bring it down all the way to that height and you can adjust it right as far as that. Um, and it's very easy to lock it into position wherever you may adjust it. The next thing is that not only can you adjust the height, but you can adjust the angle that you want the springs to be or the placement of the springs so you can go in and you can come out with those springs. This is very important here. This mechanism back here allows you to mount the pedipole on the wall. This moves up and down so you can adjust depending on where you want it in the wall, you can adjust the height. But also what is very important is that it can adjust in this direction, which helps us with uneven floors. Because often the floor and the wall are not exactly at right angles. The building just, uh, maybe in different countries, builder, builders are better. But in the United States, I found that very seldom will a, wall, a floor be absolutely level and a wall be absolutely uh, plumb, meaning perpendicular. And this allows the pedipole to adjust to those different angles. So very easy to mount on the wall. Some pedipoles that I've put together, I've mounted everything on the wall and then found that a part of the platform sits on the floor but a part of the platform floats and then I have to put uh, shims or pieces of carpet underneath to make it level. It will not happen with this pedipole. It adjusts to the level of the floor. <clears throat> there is also a seat that we've integrated into the pedipole. You don't have to use the seat the seat has different height adjustments. At this point, the height adjustment is relatively permanent. It's not that you cannot adjust it, but it's a little bit difficult. There are a couple of different settings that you can use for the seat adjustment. Right now, I've got it on the high setting. And then notice there's this cutout of the base for the feet. So if we're doing some of the pedipole work that we do in the Bassey system, this is such a valuable arm series where we work under shoulder height. We're in this upright position. And we take it from the side. Works beautifully, seamlessly. I want to check that my springs are coming from the same angle they are. Now, if you want to start weaning a person off the seat, then you can still put the feet right there in the base. And now I'm supporting my own body, not putting the weight on the seat. I could even go a little lower. You can see my weight is not on the seat. And if you want to hold this position, but want more resistance, all you have to do is loosen that and take the bar up. So this is the Bassey Systems pedipole, generation one. I'm sure we'll be changing things as we develop and improve. But this is made out of beautiful materials. This is all aluminum. It slides very easily up and down, up and down, locks into place very easily, has this wonderful seat, 
and as you saw I can use the seat or if I want to wean someone off the seat to start using their legs more it's possible to do that as well wonderful repertoire on this relatively inexpensive piece of equipment that takes up no room at all so thank you for attending this tutorial on the Bassey Systems pedipole please visit bassysystems.com for more information thank you very much